I hate to use this. I, people use this meme derogatively. I know this is a derogatory meme against people that don't get it. This one. <laughs> talking about gender with trans people, talking about gender with cis people, okay? Now, I understand that this is a derogatory meme towards people that don't get it. I understand that. At the same time, you do have to recognize that a large majority of the population is this photo. They are this photo. And if you don't know how to do this, you can't communicate with like 85% of the population or more. You just can't speak to them. And if you want to live a life where you are only able to interact with 5%, of, you know, 5 to 10% of the population, that's okay. That is okay. In fact, that's probably an easier, better life than the alternative. But if you want to live a life where you can talk to complete fucking normies who have never seen a trans person in their life before, you need to know how to do this shit, you know? You need to be trained on how to interact with toddlers when it comes to your gender. And, and you just need to know how to do it, you know? And the thing is too, especially if you're trans, I promise, I promise, I promise, I promise, I promise, I promise, okay? If you're trans, if you're like me and you have like, you know, agoraphobia or whatever, right? You're afraid of going out, you haven't talked to people. I promise you, I hope this helps someone that's listening right now. Cis people fucking love hearing about queer people. It is the most fascinating bullshit they have ever heard in their entire goddamn life. Seriously. They have never been more intrigued by anything in their whole life. You start talking to a cis woman about your transition and they are glued to you. Like they are, st they are literally fucking like people fucking note whatever the fuck noted they are fucking noted they are like they are so engaged they want to know everything they are so fascinated they're like please tell me more please i am so curious i am so curious most people from my experience when you tell them they're trans you, you are trans if you tell them in like, if you're non-combative, and I understand too, because I've had, you know, my share of people that bother me when I'm trans, right? And maybe not want to speak to them. How do you start explaining shit? What I find personally, what really worked for me when I was early transition was I talked about voice, actually. I remember when I went to my first laser hair removal session, I talked to the girls that, and I was like, I'm serious. When I started laser hair removal, I was like less than one month on hormones, okay? And I talked to the girls at laser hair removal about being trans, and I told them about voice training, and they were like glued to the screen. I, I mean, I guess it's real life, so they're not glued to a screen, but you know what I mean? They were like hooked. I was like, you know what's crazy is when you're voice training, if you're like a trans mask person and you take estrogen, your like vocal cords will, will increase in size, right? Your vocal, like your, your literal vocal cords will increase in size and thickness, which will deepen your voice naturally. But if you're a trans feminine woman, if you're a trans woman and you're, you take estrogen, it doesn't shrink your vocal cords. It doesn't make them thinner. So you have to learn Oh yeah, trend, testosterone. Sorry, you know what I mean. Sorry, fuck off. Whatever. Shut the fuck up, chat. You know what I mean. I'm drunk. Okay, I drank a bottle of wine. But you know what I mean, right? And I know I said to them like, when you're a trans, when you're a trans woman, kicking estrogen doesn't make your vocal tract smaller or thinner. And so any trans woman you've ever met that has a voice that sounds super feminine had to work super hard at it. And I started with that preamble. And every cis woman I ever told that preamble to was fucking hooked. I'm serious. I told them it's all skill. It's all practice. And they were fucking hooked. They were like, really? 
I would never have guessed. Oh my God, really? You have to practice the whole time? Wow. Oh my God, tell me more. And I'm like, yeah, no, and it's so much work. I've been practicing, but I suck at it. And I've been practicing for weeks and months, and I'm still really bad at it. And it's not crazy. But that is so crazy. Oh my God, girl, that is so crazy. That sounds so hard. Oh my God. I never realized. Oh my God. I never realized how hard it was to be a trans woman. I, I just, I guess I just assumed that it was like, you know, you were just a woman. I guess I just didn't realize at all. You've literally been in the same couple. Me too. That's why I'm speaking from experience. I told this to my laser hair removal people and they were like enthralled. They were literally enthralled by this convo. You know? They were enthralled by it. They're like, wow, I, I never thought about that. Oh my God. I never thought that you had to practice. I guess I just thought that like it, it happened naturally and I'm like, no, it doesn't. You, no, I know, right? But it doesn't happen naturally. You have to practice. You have to practice to learn your voice as a trans woman. And I'm like, whoa, that's so hard. That is so hard. Oh, I'm, wow. That must be so difficult. And I'm like, yeah, it is so difficult. You're so right. Oh my God, you're so right. And they love me. The cis women loved me. Unironically, the cis, when you're an early transition, cis, I'm serious right now. If you're early transition in my chat right now, Cis women fucking love you. I'm serious, okay? You just complain to them about how hard transitioning is, and they will love you more than they have ever loved anyone in their entire life. <laughs> complain to a cis woman about how hard it is to transition, and they will empathize with you so hard. They're like, it is so hard being a woman. Oh my god, it is so hard to be a woman. You're so right. You are so right. And you're like, yeah, no, it's so and all you have to do is say, it's so hard to be a woman. I'm trying so hard. I'm putting in so much effort and it's so difficult. And I get in Ubers and the guy starts harassing me. The guy starts flirting with me and I don't even know what to do. I'm like, oh my God. And they baby you so hard. It's either that or they hate you. From my experience, from my experience, the longer you transition, the more you, the, the harder it is. But the earlier transition you are, that it is so fucking easy for cis women particularly to love you. Cis women love early trans girls. They love them like nothing fucking else. I'm serious right now, okay? Once you like are, you know, three or four or fucking five years or two or three or whatever, right? Years transitioned. They're just, you're just another girl to them, right? But when you're like an early transition girl to a cis woman, you're a precious little baby that must be protected, must be fucking cared for, must not be, you know? You're, yeah, you, they still have you in the mentally gay best friend zone. Exactly, but you're like precious. You're like their most precious little possession. They want to keep you safe at all costs. It's so easy. You remember this advice? I promise you. Just all you have to do, and don't be inauthentic. Don't bullshit, right? Don't be, don't bullshit. Just tell people it's hard to be trans. Just be honest. It is hard to be trans. It's really hard to be trans. It's not easy. It fucking sucks being trans. You know how hard it is to be a woman? Do you know how hard it is to be a woman? It is fucking hard, okay? And it is especially hard to become a woman or whatever, however you prefer to word it, right? To transition to a woman or to start expressing as a woman, whatever your preferred, you know, terminology is, right? It is so hard to do that in your like late teens, to, like 20s or 30s it's, or 40s. It's so hard. It's so hard to be a woman. It's so hard. Just be honest about how hard it is. And every fucking woman will empathize with you. 
every woman will, every fucking woman alive will empathize with you. Because it fucking sucks. It blows. Transition blows. Uh, people will say transition is the best thing to ever happen to them. And I don't disagree. But at the same time, it is simultaneously the best thing to ever happen to you. And the hardest thing you will ever do in your life. It is both of those things at the exact same time. And that's okay, obviously. That make, that that's, that is a, a valid outcome. But like, fuck. You know? It's challenging. It's tough. It's so tough. Everyone except your mom, mother? I know. And parents are so different, right? Because parents are, are people that have so ingrained in their brain... You as, especially pre-transition, right? You are their baby boy. You're their fucking little baby boy. And they have that so ingrained in their brain that like even the most accepting parents from my perspective will fuck up. And unfortunately, and it fucking blows, it sucks so hard to say to your parents for the 25th time, it's she. Or to say to your parents for the 25th time, my name is X. My name is not dad name. It's so frustrating. But parents are just fucking like that. And it fucking blows. It fucking blows. What if you're very, very tall? Listen. I know... Yeah, three out of time. Yeah, I know, I know. I know how insanely copium this shit sounds because it sounds like pure fucking copium i well, i just say some women are tall not maybe if you're like if you're like six foot five it's 0, 0.0 fucking one percent of women but those women exist okay you just have to understand that and i know that it fucking blows it sucks it fucking sucks to be a 0.01% woman, you know? Because I guarantee you, a, a cis woman who is six foot five feels like that fucking blows. She probably thinks that it's fuck, not fucking easy to be a six foot five cis woman. And if you're a six foot five trans woman, that's an extra layer of like bullshit that, it's, that sucks to happen. But it doesn't mean that you're not a woman. It doesn't mean that. It doesn't, it never, ever, 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 ever means that. It never means that. It never means that. Ever, okay? Remember that. I want you to remember that for the rest of your fucking life. No matter what, it never means you're not a woman. It never means that. It only ever means that you have an insecurity about yourself. It only ever means that there's a part of yourself that makes you insecure. And that's valid. Every woman feels those things. Every person feels those things. Every person has insecurities. You are not, not a woman because of your height, because of your body type, because of anything. You're a woman. You are a woman. You are a woman. You just might not be a, a cis woman. We are all trans women here, right? We're all trans women. That's okay. That's still a woman. I'm not identical to my cis women friends. I have a different lived experience. I have a different childhood. I have a different life. I have a different, you know, everything. I take hormones. They don't take hormones. I don't have periods. They have periods. I don't have a vagina. I have a penis. They have a vagina. No penis. Right? Right? But no matter the differences, we are both women. And we have plenty in common despite any differences we might have. Right? And that's why I think a lot of trans women find a lot of their affirmation um, in the differences they have from men. And they find it hard to find affirmation in similarities they have to cis women. I think that that's true for a lot of, for a lot of trans women. It's very easy to be affirmed by the fact that you're not a man. But it's very hard to be affirmed by the fact that you are a cis woman. 
what you have to remember is you're not a cis woman. You're a trans woman. You're not a cis woman. You're a trans woman. And that's still a woman. It's still a woman. It's still a woman, no matter what. No matter what. You're a woman, okay? If you if you believe truly in your heart that you're a woman, you're a woman. It's that, that's that simple. It's that simple. It's that easy, okay? Don't... And if you don't think you're a woman, you don't have to be a woman. That's the other thing, right? Remember that. If you don't think you're a woman, you don't have to be. You don't have to be. You can be non-binary. You can identify however the fuck you want. You don't have to be cis man, cis woman, or trans man. You don't have to do that. You can do whatever the fuck you want. Don't worry about it. I promise it's okay.